and incredible journey. 4,000 miles and 42,000 photographs. One man's quest to retrace the steps of Lewis and Clark. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with John Siegenthaler. Finally tonight, we head out west. It was 200 years ago this month that Lewis and Clark reached the end of their daring trek through the west at the Pacific Ocean. Photographer Richard Mack retraced their historic journey, documenting it in a new book. Tonight, a look at the western landscape through his eyes and in his own words. Well, I wanted the readers to be able to travel with Lewis and Clark and, and get the views that they might have had 200 years ago. And so that meant that I had to be in the same locations they were at the same time of year that they were there. The book took two years to complete and I spent uh, about 1,200 rolls of film which comes out to about 42,000 exposures. Camp Wood is important because it is the first shot in the book and the Missouri starts right there. Well, in South Dakota, Lewis and Clark first started seeing the buffalo and they would talk about climbing these hills and looking out over the plains and seeing 50 to 100,000 buffalo at a time. The Mandans is where Lewis and Clark spent the winter. And that winter they had temperatures at 15 below and, and more. One of their journal entries in fact says 15 below a fine day. One of the days that I was out shooting it was 10 below in a, in a blizzard and 30 mile an hour winds and I felt like it was a fine day. In the spring, they made their way north and then out across Montana. And a lot of times what happened for me and for them is we had a lot of rain. By August of 1805, they had come to Lamai Pass. It was the first time they really saw the Rockies for what they were. They originally thought it would take only a few days. It took them almost three weeks. And they nearly starved to death in the three-week trek across the Bitterroots. I think people forget that that whole year of 1805, they're traveling in country that nobody except the Native Americans had been through yet. But eventually they get out to the, to the Columbia, and, and they're running with the current for the first time in two years, and they can now make 70 to 80 miles a day. The, the famous quote is, ocean in view, ocean in view. The goal had been reached, they get to the Pacific Ocean. I would hope that this book tells the story of not just Lewis and Clark, but for this book to stand as a testament to the beauty of the landscape that we have. Photographer Richard Mack on his book, The Lewis and Clark Trail, in his own words.